When Arcade 1UP announced their third wave of Arcade 1UP cabinets, I knew two out of three of them I had to have. The Star Wars one, it looks kind of cool, but I don't really care about those older Star Wars games. They were a bit before my time. The Marvel Super Heroes one looks absolutely awesome. I knew I had to have that one. But the one that everyone wanted was, of course, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a four-player system coming to us from Arcade 1UP, the first of its kind. So I was definitely excited to get my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cabinet. Pre-orders went up on Walmart. I put mine in with the 350 price price point and then they went up to $400. A lot of people got pissed off by that and I could definitely see why. But then people started finding them in our Walmart stores and I'm sitting here like where the hell is my pre-order? Wasn't the whole point of pre-ordering this thing to get it in a timely manner? Then I got an email from Walmart and they were like it's not coming until November 21st and I was like what? But then thankfully they updated the shipping information and I now have my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade one-up cabinet. There's a lot of differences on this arcade one-up cabinet too. Things I think you'll be very excited for. So let's talk about the assembly of this arcade 1UP cabinet, talk about what's different, and then take a look at the games for it. So my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade 1UP cabinet came in from Walmart via FedEx today. And one thing I was kind of nervous about was the extra transit that it would get going through FedEx. I was kind of worried that maybe it would get damaged in shipping or something like that, because usually I just go to my Walmart store and pick up these cabinets. But I noticed when I opened up the box, there were actually some differences in the packaging of this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade 1UP cabinet that were different than the other arcade 1UP cabinets I got. There was a lot more padding in there. There were some empty boxes to sort of fill in holes, and they put these little black cushions in there as well to sort of keep everything nice and snug inside the box doesn't seem like a really big deal but it was definitely something I was very excited for because I knew that there was a better chance of everything coming out okay upon taking everything out of the box and inspecting it I noticed something right out of the gate and that was the speaker system of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade one-up cabinet all of the previous arcade one-up cabinets had a single speaker system where both the left and right audio would go through this single speaker system it worked fine but people really wanted a dual speaker system for these arcade one-up cabinets and the Turtles cabinet actually has a dual speaker system. So I was definitely very pleased to see that. The speaker is actually underneath the uh, marquee of the Arcade 1UP cabinet as well. So the audio definitely resonates a bit better than the other Arcade 1UP cabinets. Now piecing everything together, obviously with the dual speaker system, things were a little bit different than with other Arcade 1UP machines. But it was pretty simple nonetheless. Those stupid bracket things though that you have to put on the monitor are still such a pain in the ass. I wish they would put the brackets on there for you or maybe make a different system for it because when you have to put the other screws into the arcade one-up brackets as well for the uh, screen it's just such a pain in the ass it is always the hardest thing to do on these and I was just very frustrated with it but I ended up getting everything together and taking a look at it and it just looks absolutely beautiful all of the cabinet arcade work just looks absolutely fantastic everything looks great everything seems a bit shinier as well and it seems like they used a different sort of material for the um, side graphics on this than they've done with other arcade one-up cabinets it definitely is a step and quality that I definitely appreciate. Now this did also come with a riser as well, but since all of my other arcade one-up cabinets do not use a riser, I haven't put the riser together yet. It is cool, I'll probably use it just for room decoration or something like that, but it is worth noting. Now one thing I was interested in seeing was the size difference of the arcade one-up cabinet, because this is the first four-player arcade one-up cabinet that they've released so far, and honestly, it's not that big of a deal in terms of size. It is wider on the control deck portion. As you can see here, it's a bit wider than the Mortal Kombat one, so that they can fit the four players but as far as the actual arcade one-up cabinet itself is concerned it is the exact same width it just juts out a little bit more on the control deck so that's cool it still doesn't take up a whole hell of a lot of room which is something that i was very pleased to see you can see that the Turtles cabinet has a green pinstripe around the sides of it, which I think looks very nice. You can definitely tell that Arcade 1UP is listening to fan feedback. When you look at something like the Street Fighter 2 Arcade 1UP cabinet to the Mortal Kombat Arcade 1UP cabinet, you can see a jump in quality. And now you can start to see a jump in quality from the Mortal Kombat Arcade 1UP cabinet to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cabinet. But I know what you guys are wondering. How do the games play? How does this thing sound? And how does the control panel work? Will it actually fit four players? That's what we're going to talk about next. Can you actually fit four players on this thing? I think you could, but it's definitely gonna be very cramped. You're gonna be smelling the guy next to you. I think they did as good of a job as they could with spacing it out. I definitely think you will have enough room to do something like a four player game, but it's definitely gonna be a bit cramped, but I don't think they wanted to make it super wide and make it super obnoxious. I think they did a good enough job with it, and if you really wanted to play with four players, you definitely could. But now it's time to look at the actual games itself. Take a look at the screen, take a look at the audio, and see what these games are all about. 
All right, so here we have the startup screen for our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet. We, of course, have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game, which came out as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game on the NES, and Turtles in Time, which came out on the Super Nintendo. Now, one of the big changes on this arcade one-up cabinet, besides the fact that it has two speakers on it, is just how the volume is distributed. It used to just be off, low, and high, but now when you hit the volume button, it actually has different numbers, so you can adjust it a whole hell of a lot better. And this is something that I hope going forward they continue to do because this is much better in terms of audio. It definitely sounds a lot better being able to control it with a simple dial and being able to adjust it instead of just having the off, low, and high. But let's jump into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original arcade game. I actually remember playing this game some as a kid whenever you know we'd go to the pizza place or something like that. It was usually it was usually there. And of course, you have this iconic intro, which is probably gonna get copyright claimed. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, heroes in a half shell, turtle power. Oh, it's so good. Malabunga. All right, so being that I am using the first controller, I will be playing as Leonardo, each area that you want to control. So if you wanted to do Michelangelo, you would use Michelangelo's buttons, Donatello, so on and so forth. And, oh man, this just looks, this looks so good. Whoa, hear that bass? There is some bass on this bad boy. Yo, these speakers are a hell of a lot better than the original arcade one-ups. That was some serious bass right there. That was glorious. Oh yes, oh yes, that was fantastic. And of course you can see that we have Ninja Turtles. I mean, it's it's Ninja Turtles and it looks great. This, this is seriously one of the coolest arcade one-up cabinets, if not the coolest arcade one-up cabinet available on the market. Like, I'm sure I will enjoy the Marvel one when it comes in. I'm definitely looking forward to X-Men Children of the Atom because I love that game. But, like, these games are just so iconic, and they're so damn good. And they still hold up today. Like, looking at the graphics of this game, this came out in, what, 88? And, like, it still looks good. It still sounds good. And most importantly, it still plays good. And that's really all that matters. And... I'm very blown away by this. They have, Arcade 1UP has really upped their game with these Wave 3 cabinets, I feel. The screen looks phenomenal, as usual. Not Never that the screen was a problem or anything. You know, the first wave of the screens were a little too bright um, for some people, so they sort of adjusted that. But this screen just looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, I hear a little shrapnel. Um, the screen looks absolutely fantastic. It controls very well. It has the um, eight directional uh, hexagon in there like it used to have for Mortal Kombat that they upgraded to. So yeah, you know, it's playing exactly how it should. It looks fantastic. I, I love this game. You know, I was never the best at it and the NES version, you know, it was gimped, but I still had fun with it. But the arcade version was just so good. And the fact that like, I don't think any of us thought that this would ever happen just because of how Nickelodeon has the licensing for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now, but it's great to see this and it plays absolutely phenomenal. So now let's go ahead and check out, of course, Turtles in Time. Yeah, oh God. All right, let's check out Turtles in Time and see how that does. All right, time for Turtles in Time. And I actually have a confession to make that may shock a lot of you guys. I have actually never played the arcade version of Turtles in Time. I just, I never saw it in the arcades when I was a kid because I didn't go to the arcades all that much. And I just played the Super Nintendo version. So I don't know really anything about this. I know there are some differences between the arcade version and the Super Nintendo version. So I'm really looking forward to this. And this presentation is fantastic. This song is amazing. I don't, I've never heard Heard this song before before you know checking out this game and i i really pizza power like i want to eat some pizza and drink a soda like right now so let's hop into it of course april is looking just just glorious oh there's voices okay there's more sound effects than in the super nintendo version oh shredder kevin nash get out of here you bastard bang apple 3 a.m all right, so the music is a little bit different than on the Super Nintendo version. A little a little better composition, you know, same same style, but I think it sounds a little bit better um, just to my, you know, plain ear. The animations are definitely smoother than on the Super Nintendo version of the game. Um, but yeah, you know, it's Turtles in Time. Like this is 
arguably one of the best beat-em-ups of all time. Like, there's a reason why the Super Nintendo cartridge goes for as much as it goes. You know, I was lucky. I got it way back in the day, you know, back in like 2003 when nobody cared. Oh, that's cool. I like that little animation for the pizza time thing. That was dope. Um, I bought the game, you know, way back in the day when retro gaming was just starting to, you know, take off a bit. Um, I remember I got it at GameStop. I still have a sticker on it of like 15 bucks. So definitely, you know, an awesome game. But I'm, I'm digging this arcade version. It's definitely, it's definitely smoother than the Super Nintendo version. And I feel like maybe I was missing out on this being the superior version. Everyone always talks about the Super Nintendo version, I guess just because, you know, before this arcade one-up cabinet, it was tough to play the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games, the arcade games, because they were never really re-released. Now, of course, you're always going to have people that say things like, well, I could buy a Turtles cabinet and, you know, for $100. Ooh, more voices. I like it. Um, and I could buy a Turtles cabinet for 100 bucks. I could fix it up, blah, blah, blah. And, like, that's cool. You know, I totally get that and I'm happy for you but for someone like me these arcade one-ups are just perfect because they're a great size they're easy to assemble and they don't weigh a ton like I brought this box into my house by myself like it wasn't I didn't need a whole truck to transfer the arcade machine over to my house and all that stuff like it's, it's very easy to do if I can assemble an arcade one-up machine literally anyone in the world can assemble it because I am an idiot and I can't even build labo but these you know these are fine but yes, I, I'm digging this. Of course, Baxter Stockman is coming in here. I always thought Baxter Stockman was a cool looking character. Like, he's like a, he's like a fly scientist. Like, that's, that's cool. But yeah, Baxter's probably gonna, you know, work me over a little bit. But yes, this is an awesome, awesome machine. I absolutely love it. The quality is fantastic. The buttons feel good. And, you know, everything works as it should. I'm really digging these new speakers. Like that bass, you can hear that bass. And you definitely couldn't hear the bass in some of the old games. And that's good for this game because, you know, Turtles and Turtles in Time have a great soundtrack. So I want to show you guys pretty much how I rearrange the arcade now and give you guys my final thoughts on this and, you know, just show you some of the changes I've done to accommodate all of these machines. So yeah, let's get into it. So yes, I had to rearrange my game room for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade one-up cabinet. I basically chose a different wall for all of my arcade one-up cabinets. I have them spaced out pretty wide right now. I'll definitely be able to fit the Marvel one when it comes in. I moved the TVs to the other side and the basketball goal is still here. Some of you guys were wondering if I was going to have room to fit everything in here. Look, people, I played a lot of Tetris. I know how these things work. But as far as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade one-up machine is concerned, this is the best arcade one-up machine they have made. I was blown away by the audio on this thing. The bass sounds so damn good. And the games are still super fun. They're awesome games that are absolutely timeless and definitely tie into nostalgia, but I feel still have a place in modern gaming. So this arcade one-up is absolutely fantastic. I highly suggest you guys check it out. Yes, it's a bit more expensive than the other models, but you can definitely see there is a bit more quality in this system, and I'm having an absolute blast playing it. So let me know in the comments section down below if you plan on picking up the Turtles one, if you're getting the Marvel one, or if you're picking up the Star Wars one. And as always, Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Be sure to check out other videos on the channel. I reviewed some other arcade one-up cabinets before in the past. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.